you are all welcome to this video. In our last video, we got to know and understand about distance formula. Today in this video, we all will be learning about the concept of section formula. You all know that in order to divide an object, substance, distance etc. in equal ratios, we divide it into half. That is, into two equal parts. So can you tell how an object, substance, distance etc. are divided into different ratios? Absolutely correct. For this, we use the ratio. Villages A and B have a 100 km road in between, which is divided by a bridge, that is, point C, into 3 ratio 7. So, can you tell? Which of the two villages will be farther from the bridge? Well done! For this, we add both the parts of the ratio and see that one part of the road, AC, is 30 km, while the other part is 70 km. Hence, we can say that the village B is at a greater distance from the bridge. Between the village A and village B, the government wants to build a bridge at such a location that the ratio of distance from the bridge to village A and village B respectively is M ratio N. Then, the location where the bridge is to be constructed, can you tell the coordinates of that point? Come on, let's solve this together. Let's first represent the given situation in coordinates. Let us assume O as the origin point and OX and OY are X-axis and Y-axis respectively, where the coordinates of A are X1, Y1 and coordinates of B are X2, Y2. So, can you tell the coordinate points of the bridge? Let x, y be the coordinates of point C of the bridge, which divides a, b in the ratio of m is to n. Now, points a, b and c on line a, c, b, let's draw perpendiculars a, l, c, n and b, m and draw perpendiculars from point a on c, n and point c on b, m, which is like this. AL is perpendicular to OX, BM is perpendicular to OX, CN perpendicular to OX. And from point A and C to AH and CK perpendicular to CN and BM respectively, where the coordinates of point H are X, Y1 and of K are X2, Y. Which are presented like this. Observe carefully and tell how many triangles can you see in this figure? Absolutely correct! Here we have two triangles, triangle AHC and triangle CKB, where angles AHC and CKB are equal to 90 degrees and the angle ACH should be equal to angle CBK. Because the line segment CH is parallel to BK and AB is a transversal. These represent which criterion of similarity of triangles? Well done! These represent the AA criteria of similarity of triangles. From which we can state that triangles AHC and CKB are similar triangles. Therefore, the ratio of their corresponding sides will also be equal, as shown by equation 1. With the help of the figure, we can see that AH equals X minus X1, CK equals X2 minus X, and CH equals Y minus Y1, and BK equals Y2 minus Y. Put the values of AC, CB. AH, CK, CH and BK in equation 1 where the values of AC and CB are given to be M and N respectively. Now can you find the values of the coordinates X and Y of point C? Come on, let's try to find its solution. 
By comparing these two ratios of equation 1 and solving them, we get the value of x as mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus n as values. While comparing these two ratios of equation 1 and solving them, the value derived of y is my2 plus ny1 upon m plus n. So, we can say that the coordinates of the point C where the bridge is to be constructed are mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus n y equals my2 plus ny1 upon m plus n. We saw that the line segment AB that connects the two points A and B is internally divided in the ratio m is to n by the point C whose coordinates are these which is also called the section formula. Today in this video, we studied the coordinate point of the bridge to be constructed between two villages by section formula. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on this topic.